but I will end things with the greatest advice, and in the words of Peterman, the greatest advice that I have ever been given is J. Peterman. And it came at a time when I needed it the most, a time when my soul was tied into little tiny knots. I was on the back end of a 13-day Chianti binge. Demons were floating around in my head that weren't even mine. My neck felt like one gargantuan monkey fist. I was in need of spiritual renewal, but when, where, how? I decided then that I would travel off to the high country of Kathmandu with a team of Sherpas that had hygiene problems I don't even want to go into. But no matter, because I was there in search of a man known only as his hisness. A man so spiritual it is said that he actually won a staring competition with his own reflection. And because that's who I was looking for, that is who I found. Seated in the corner of a small chapel, his legs conveniently folded into a Windsor knot. So I sat down next to him, staring into his ice blue eyes for what seemed like hours until I could stand it no longer. Finally, I broke the silence by saying, please give me that which I have come for. And with that, he reached over and he slapped me as hard as he could across the face and said, go fish. Well, I was astounded by the words I had heard. Go fish. Was this a lesson that my soul had been longing to hear? Go fish, the name of a children's card game. Or was I on the receiving end of the old Tibetan shimsha? Well, I could not be certain. And so, on my way out, I toilet-papered his pagoda. <laughs> but his words have echoed thus in my mind ever since, and now any time that my soul is tied into knots, I simply stop what I'm doing. I put down my belongings. I smile gently to myself. And I go fish. Because you see, what he was trying to tell me was to stop worrying about the future and stop living in the past. The future will take care of itself. And the past is but a faded memory and of no importance anymore. But learn instead to find the thousand joys of living in the present moment. And why? Because that's where the fish are. So I share that with you in hopes that you will remember that, that your life will be filled with a thousand joys and a great deal of fishing. Thanks for joining us, folks. If you want to help us out, and we're confident you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button here on our YouTube channel. And if you ever feel like just listening to these, you can check us out on all major podcast streaming platforms by just searching for I Went Camping With. And there, you should also subscribe. Thanks again, folks.